Hey guys, Nick here from Lyft, and I want to take a moment to talk to you about battery safety and best practice. Essentially, we work very hard on our design and our software to reduce the probability of a battery failure, which could ultimately result in a battery fire. To put things into perspective, we've all seen the effects of a failure in a cell phone. A cell phone has one battery cell. Your e-foil battery pack has 196 battery cells in it, so the risk is very real. We work very hard on our end to engineer the mechanical design and the software to reduce that risk, but there are many things that are outside of our control and we need you to do your part. Let's talk about software. Software is a very critical component to your battery pack. It keeps everything in balance. Um, it protects you from potential failures. We have recently pushed out a new software update over the last couple weeks, and it is imperative that you download that software from our app and that you update your battery pack. Let's talk about the physical integrity of your case. Now, at the factory, this case is thoroughly inspected and it's checked to make sure that it's watertight and sealed. But after that, the battery is now in your hands, so it's your responsibility to examine your battery pack the day that you receive it, and as you continue to use it, you really need to make sure that the seals stay closed so that you never get water on the inside. Obviously, water and electronics don't mix well together. If, for whatever reason, you ever drop your battery or you have some sort of damage that you think could break that seal, just stop, don't use it, call us, we'll work with you, we'll get it taken care of. So one recommendation, too, is to monitor the use of your battery and also the temperature. We've seen people running them really hard and then charging and then running and charging and running and charging. That's a lot of cycles and a lot of use in one day. And you just want to be conscious about the temperature in your battery pack. You want to allow some time to let it cool off before you go recycling it. Because again, when the cells get to a higher temperature, the battery pack can handle it, the software can handle it, but it does degrade the life of your battery cells. So it's one way to prolong the life of your battery pack and also protect it. Charging your battery. Now, your battery is most vulnerable when it's on the charger and multiple hours after it's been charged. So one, it says it right here, do not charge your battery unattended, all right? Make sure that it's in a place where you can see it and you know what's going on. And two, choose a safe area to charge your battery. The bigger area, the better. If you are not using your battery, there is no reason for it to be fully charged. If the battery is discharged, it has no energy, so it has no potential of catching fire. If for whatever reason you need to leave your battery charged up and ready to ride, we recommend this case here built by Zargus. We use it in our shop. It's just extra security, extra peace of mind. We have a lot of batteries here in our shop, so I have these cases to go along with them. They're available on our website. We can ship it straight to you. It's also a great way to transport your battery and protect it. Everything we just discussed is right here in this email. Remember to follow the links for the software updates. That's very important. If you have any questions or concerns at all, feel free to reach out to us with a phone call or an email. We're always here to help you. And our number one priority is to make sure that you're having a safe ride and a fun ride.